everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com, and I also invite you to follow us on Instagram and Facebook to see a little bit more about who we are and my or our holistic beliefs in skincare. Um, I'm in a little different place today. I wanted to keep this a little bit more casual. I wanted to uh, do a tag uh, that was tagged to some of us content creators from My Life Wendy, My Life Wendy, I hope I'm saying that right, I'm really bad, My Life Wendy, and Little Poet. And I think Little Poet, it's a new channel that I started following. She tagged some people and I just really loved the questions and I loved that you could kind of get to know us a little bit better. Um, and I thought so many of the people that were doing this tag were just so motivating to me. Um, there's a, a, a channel, Monica. Monica is just, she's just been so lovely or, um, Bar, I call her Babs, so Barbara, um, but just different channels that have um, done this tag and I got to know them better and I really enjoyed that. So it's a series of nine questions and I just thought that I would go ahead and answer them right now. Hopefully I don't get emotional. I told Kent we'll stop the camera if I do or if I get too talkative, but um, here we go. So the first question is to rate 2020 from one to 10. That is a tough one for me. And um, I guess for me, I would just have to say, it's like been a four and yet I see the beauty in it. Um, but for many of you that don't know anything about me, I own three holistic skincare salons and I came to another area in California to open a fourth. Um, I sold my home and this all happened in January and at the time our governor closed us, we were about to close on both of a, maybe a new home and a new business or a new building and had to pull out of everything. And we have, um, it has just changed our life. That's all I can say. Anything that I thought was supposed to happen in 2020 has completely gone in a different direction. And so for me, I see the beauty in it, but it's really been, I almost want to say it's been a one, but I know that I'm going to look back and think maybe it was a 10. So there's my long answer. Number two, favorite memory from 2020. I think my favorite memory is um, my daughter getting engaged in February. It was right before the pandemic and it was just, um, he's such a beautiful man and uh, his name is John, my daughter is Chantel. And that was just such a, a beautiful beginning to our year that ended up turning out crazy. but. Another memory or another feeling is just the time I got to spend with my husband. Um, we will be married for 35 years this year. I've known him since I was 19 years old. He is my rock. He is my angel. Um, I come from a really tough childhood and I would do it all over again to be with him and just sitting quietly with him at night and uh, we both sit on different parts of the couch and watching television and commenting and just looking over at him and knowing that he's there for me um, is really my favorite memory. It just, I will, I grew so much more appreciative of him and the relationship that we have. Number three, did you change as a person in 2020? I, I really did. Um, when we were told to close our businesses, uh, it really was and has been devastating on so many levels. Um, you have 30 plus years of hard work that you have put in to, uh, if you're a small business owner, you know what I mean. It takes everything you have 24 seven and you have such dreams and such goals. And I'm also someone who wants to provide for other people. That's just who I am. I am a, um, uh, gosh, what does can't call me at heart? I am a empathetic. Epi empathetic at heart and it gets me in a lot of trouble because people take advantage of me, but I just want to provide for others. And when I had to shut down, um, I think I cried for, I don't know how many days, maybe it was only a day, maybe it was a few hours, but my beautiful little girl, uh, Chantal, she is a psychiatric nurse becoming a psychiatric nurse practitioner um, in California. And she told me to get on YouTube and at 54 years old, I thought no one is going to watch me. And really not a lot of people do. There are some content creators that have just grown so huge and there are days I think, why am I even doing this? 
But I'll tell you something, it takes something special inside of yourself to do this, to get on camera, to create content every time and to put yourself out there because you know you are being critiqued, especially on these beauty channels. I think the other important thing that I did, and it's something that's really important to me as a woman especially, is I want to continue growing as a good human. And um, my same child, my same daughter, told me to reach out and talk to someone um, because I was really feeling like some days I didn't even want to get out of bed, and I did. And I thought, wow, I am so proud of myself that at 54, almost 55 years old now, I reached out and I, I talked to someone. I have them help me and make me a better human. And so um, in 2020, it really has made me grow and change and it has really tested my faith. Um, number four, my favorite channel. Um, I have a few favorite channels that I watch, um, but I'll tell you later why I'm not gonna mention some of them. But one that I watch is a small channel called Be Better Motivation. And I love this guy. He has put out so many amazing motivational videos. He is very motivational. Um, I'm actually not sure where he's from. He's got a little bit of an accent, but I really, you know, I tell you, go over there and, and um, watch this channel. He has, he really does have some great motivation and I'm all about motivation and it has really helped me on days where I think, I just don't wanna do this anymore. I'm just tired and I wanna give up. Um, I have worked since I was 16 years old and it's like, are you kidding me? I am having to start over at 54. <laughs> but Be Better Motivation is one I really, really enjoy. Uh, one to two products that blew you away this year. Well, there's not a lot of products that have blown me away this year except Peach's skincare, but I will tell you, I love Color Science sunscreen products. I actually don't have one here with me right now. I probably should because I'm gonna do a video, but I really love their Color Science Glow, and I love many of the products that they have. It, they really have blown me away. No breakout, no nothing. Um, and then I would also have to say, um, that I really have loved castor oil. My eyelashes are growing, I see it heal my skin, um, and it's something very inexpensive. So you all know I have a lot of products I love, but those are two that really blew me away this year. I've always used castor oil, but I really put it into a big gear this year and I saw such a difference. Okay, cruelest comment. This is number seven, cruelest comment, but I'm also gonna tell you the kindness. So. My cruelest comment is not from just people that watch me. And this was really hard. I didn't know if I should bring this up and I'm, I hope I don't get emotional, but my cruelest comment actually came from two other content creators and I won't tell you who they are. One or both have really big channels and one I sent my products to because she was so excited and she said, oh my gosh, I'm watching all of your videos and I'm starting to think I should rethink my uh, opinion on skin. And, um, and then all of a sudden something clicked with her and one day she just said, I'm sending it all back to you because I realized that if I support you, I could lose many of my subscribers. And I was just kicked in the gut. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. And the other one, kind of, I felt bullied by her. She said, um, that I was going to lose, she, I was going to lose friends or I was not going to be well liked here um, if I didn't change essentially the comments that I made. And I admit to many of you, and, and that really hurt, that in the beginning when I came on here, I would go to other channels and go, hey, you don't need to wear foundation. It's the number one cause of acne and aging. Um, I would say, oh my God, don't do microneedling at home. It's so damaging. But here's the thing. I am an expert in my field. And if your husband or wife were a doctor, I would not give medical um, advice because I could get in trouble on YouTube. If, you know, my husband said to me once, I wouldn't give exercise advice or workout advice. I am not a trainer. I am not a nutritionist. So I may show you what I eat in a day, but I do not try to give you advice on eating. I just tell you that I'm plant-based. Um, I really, was surprised when I came on these channels to see that so many people use skincare and beauty as a hobby and that when I would come in and maybe I guess call them out, I'm trying to be kinder about it, but I always speak with kindness, they didn't like it. And yet I would be so different. I would be, 
oh my gosh, thank you for your expertise and um, uh, thank you for telling us that because I'm not here to hurt someone, but this is my life and what I have done for 35 years and I have actual practical knowledge of skin and skin products. Another thing I wanna say, if I ever get so big, and I will, and if I ever don't turn around and lift the next person up, stop watching me and don't buy my products. Because I don't care who you are. If you're a content creator and you come to me and you want me to come follow you about um, socks or about uh, food you make or um, whatever it might be, I mean, some of the smallest skincare channels have been the ones that have absolutely been there for me and promoted me. And um, uh, Mona, uh, Mona has been incredible. And forgive me, I'm, all their channels get so confused in, you know, in my head. Um, uh, Connie, um, Connie has been incredible. But it's the smaller skincare channels that turned around and said, how can I help you? And I'll tell you something, when you have uh, been kicked in the gut with your businesses and all you need is maybe one kind word from a big channel Could you imagine the blessing that would have been? Hey, you go over and watch Lisa over on Peach's skincare I may not agree with everything she does, but I'm gonna support her So for me, that was one of the cruelest comments, but some of the kindest comments um, I just got one today and I'm actually gonna grab my phone I'm probably going out of the thing, but it was from a 16 year old who lives in Europe. And I actually want to read the comment because it really um, reflects what uh, I find to be some of the most beautiful things that people can say to you. So her name is Alexandra. So Alexandra, if you're watching, it really touched my heart. Dear Lisa, I absolutely love that you always try to put your best work and knowledge in every single video. These tips and information are pure gold. You try so hard to show us how beautiful life can be without fillers, Botoxes, facelifts, and other procedures. We live in a world of such fakeness, photos looking so unrealistic, products and marketing that are always trying to make us feel so bad about ourselves because most of us don't look exactly like a magazine model or like a perfect celebrity. They try to make us hate our imperfections and copy everything that others do. This is the vision from a 16 year old girl of the Z generation. And then you come, our light and breath of fresh air, use. And then she mentions a couple other channels, Claudia Glows, Tamara's Timeless Beauty, are the type of content creators and YouTubers that are so loved because who they are, their special, honest, and hardworking personalities. Your holistic beliefs and professional advice are so incredibly helpful for all of us. You do everything because you want us to love ourselves and our skin exactly the way we look. Thank you for being this wonderful, warm, and kind woman and master esthetician, esthetician in this word, world full of bad marketing. Thank you for being you. That was from a 16 year old. And those are the things that just fill my heart and tell me, keep going, Lisa, keep pushing forward on these channels and on YouTube. Um, number eight, there's only two more. Proudest accomplishment for 2020. Going on YouTube at the age of 54 <laughs> um, and really getting our online uh, presence shown. We really never focused on it. I um, never wanted to be someone who threw marketing at people or products at people. I wanted our skincare to be in our salons where um, we could keep it very small and very personal. But I realized that I can be personal here. I have people email me, I have people uh, comment to me and uh, ask questions about the products and I'm able to give them so many great um, so much great help. So I am able to give good service. And so I'm really proud that we have grown our online presence and I just think it could go bigger than I could ever imagine. Um, and also my proudest accomplishments are my two kids. I know it's not 2020, but both of them have been frontline workers during this whole pandemic. Um, my daughter in a very well-known hospital here in um, LA and my son is a chef. And oh my goodness, have they taught me how to be a better human and a better person. Number nine. Um, oh, and you know what? I think I missed one. 
Uh, number six, what creator inspired you? Oh, I already did that. Okay, number nine. One word to describe yourself in 2021. I'm going to have to use the word, gosh, I, there's so many, but grace. I want to give myself grace. I want to give people that maybe make a cruel comment grace. I want to give people around me grace. We are all on different paths right now. Many of us think very differently, just with the whole political atmosphere in the United States. Um, but I want to give everyone grace because we are all just doing the best that we can, um, being the best that we can. And um, I think that giving each other grace is what's going to bring so many of us back together. Um, and it's also gonna give me inner peace. And I think 2021 is still gonna be a little tough, but I also think it's going to be a year where I know for me, I have learned to be so grateful for everything around me, for all the things in my life and for the changes that are about to happen. Um, Kent and I will be moving back to another area this year. Um, we have decided not to open any more salons, as you can imagine why. And I'm excited for this new time. And I wanna to say to all of you who have supported me and even my dearest friends, um, thank you. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for being there for us. And um, I really don't know where I would be without the love and kindness from all of you. I hope you all stay beautiful naturally. You comment with love and kindness below. And uh, 